prefix is. Okay, so a prefix is a word part, and it's a word part that can't stand on its own um, because it's not a full word in and of itself. A prefix is a word part added to the beginning of a base word. I sometimes call these root words. So a base word and a root word are the same thing. Now a base word or a root word, it can stand on its own. So a base word or a root word would be a word like eat, right? Or like. A prefix is a word part added to the beginning of a base word that changes the meaning of the word. For example, the prefix un means not. So let's look at our section un. Un means not. So if something is uneaten, that means what? Simply that it's not eaten. If something is unlikely, well, that means that it's not likely going to happen. Okay? Uh, prefixes are pretty simple once you kind of get the hang of them. And you can use them to help to decode words that are unfamiliar to you. So um, I, and this kind of is pertinent to what's happening in the world right now. But I asked my dad uh, several, several months ago when the pandemic first hit, I was like, dad, what's the difference between a pandemic and an epidemic? because I noticed that both of those words had the word demic in them, but they started with something different. So pandemic is like um, something that affects the whole world, okay? The whole entire globe, pan, okay? Um, pandemic. And then an epidemic is something that's localized. It's just in one section, right? So if, um, if an illness only affected one country or you know one state in the United States that would be an epidemic so that's just kind of like how prefixes help, have helped me to help decode words that are unfamiliar now um, I did have to ask my dad for help because sometimes you know you need a little help from someone who knows more than you do but now I can decode words in the future that begin with the prefix pan or that begin with the prefix epi all right, let's continue. For example, the prefix un means not. When you add it to the word happy, you get unhappy, which means I'm not happy. <laughs> All right, other prefixes that mean not are in and m. Now, you might notice I can't just put any prefix in front of a word, any word that you want, and it's going to mean not that. I can't say um, something's in red, that doesn't mean that it's not red. I have to say that it's unread. And part of this is just being familiar with English words. Okay, there's not really specific rules that dictate which prefix go with which root word. Um, you just kind of have to be familiar with those words already. But if you come across a word that you're not familiar with, you can use the prefixes to help you decode. Prefixes help you make new words or figure out the meaning of words you already know. For instance, if you know that re means again, you can figure out that re-keep, re -keep, re recount means to count again. So let's look at our section re. We have re, which means again. Recount means to count again. To reuse means to use again. You might be thinking of words like recycle or repeat, okay? These are all things that are, you know, it goes again and again. If you ask someone to repeat what they said, you want them to say it again. We don't say re-say, we say repeat, um, and we don't necessarily use the root word peat. But, you know, English is funny. <laughs> all right, let's go over our in and m prefixes. Um, now, un, in, and m all mean not. Independent. That means you're not dependent. You can live out on your own. You're self-sufficient. Independent means not dependent. Invisible means it's